today I'm going to be doing a teardown video of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. This one's going to be a fun one, and if you plan on doing one of these repairs, stick through to the end because I've got some important information that you're going to need to know if you're doing this repair so that you don't run into any issues. Let's get into the video. This is my first look at the Z Flip 4. It definitely has a nice design and fits nicely in the hand. I want to see what's inside, so let's take it apart. At the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about something really important if you're going to be doing one of these screen repairs, so watch through to the end for that info. First, we're going to cook it. Once we've got it nice and warm, I'm going to take some suction here. And let's see what it takes to get the back up. First, I'm going to add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol around the border. And we'll give it a little bit of a squeeze. I can see that it wants to start to come up right here. We'll add a little bit more isopropyl alcohol. We get a thin prying tool in there to help get things moving. Now that I've got things started, I'm going to take a thin piece of plastic. And we will stick it in there. Add a little bit more isopropyl alcohol and carefully slide, carefully slide this around. and it's coming off like butter. That back glass came off much easier than most. Let's do the same on the top side. We'll let it cook for a little bit. We'll get our suction again, clamp that down, add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol, insert our prying tool, and let it naturally do its thing. I've got it started with enough of a gap that I can stick the plastic in there. Add some more alcohol, take the suction off, and carefully work around the edge again. You can see the adhesive that you need to slice through. Struggled a little bit more with the, the adhesive here on the bottom, but it's okay. We have one cable for this back display panel here. We need to carefully disconnect. As you can see, there's a little plastic piece we can pop off there. Gently get down and pull up the connector. Found this little plastic bracket and it went flying across the room. All right, that is our first look at the phone from the inside without the back cover. Looks pretty sweet. Let's start by disconnecting this battery up top and break out my iFixit kit. We'll grab a PH000 or the double zero would work just fine. And it looks like we've got two screws that hold down this bracket, one on either side. And under that, we've got this sticker. It's covering up all of the connectors here. And here you can see we've got the battery connector. So we'll go ahead and disconnect it. We've got a few screws at the top holding in our ear speaker. And this bracket can pull away. You can see the ear speaker makes contact with these two points through this little micro logic board. It makes contact again right there on the board. So if you're ever repairing this phone and you don't have an ear speaker, most likely something isn't connecting between these connections. I continue to pull up this sticker, disconnect the display. Let's pop 
pop out the SIM card tray. Take out the last screw that's holding down the camera and the logic board. Disconnect the front camera. Now we can take out the logic board. That's going to be a beast of a connector to replace if we ever have to replace it. Look at how many pins. It's like we've got one of our antennas here on the side. We've got two black screws here holding down this bracket. Covers up the power button. You can see the flex cables are epoxied in. There's not going to be much that we can do about refurbishing these screens or display only type of repair. These are always going to be a full frame swap repair, which means they're always going to be expensive. And it looks like the camera as well is glued into place. There's a lot of reasons as to why it needs to be glued. The space that the display has around this is not much. So if that camera moves a little bit, and then there's pressure applied, the display will get damaged from behind. So on a lot of Samsungs, you'll see this glue, and that glue is not only to hold the camera, but to hold it in place so it doesn't move around and damage the display. Let's take some isopropyl alcohol and get it down in under the battery. Take a pry tool and gently, very little pressure here, let's let uh, the alcohol do its work, help release the battery from anything that it's holding on to. I'm not even prying much on it and it's wanting to come out already. Very little tension. I'm just letting the weight of the tool pry it out. I'll be shocked if there's a single wrinkle on the bottom. See? Looks good. Got another bracket here with two screws. Let's take them out. And I've noticed that we've got blue thread lock on every single screw from the top. We've had a yellow thread lock. Pull off that bracket and carefully lift up the adhesive that's holding down the wireless coil back here. Gently get under the connector here and pop the connector. We'll peel it off the bottom speaker there. All right, let's disconnect the battery here. We can see this flex cable is also epoxied to the frame. Coming down here to the charging port, this cable also epoxied in, and that's part of the cable here. So we'll leave all of that intact. Go ahead and take out the bracket here at the bottom and the loudspeaker. Again, they're coming with a blue thread lock. And I am noticing a difference in size, so you do have to keep track of what screws going where, because these are, that's green thread lock, that's blue thread lock. Actually, I'm just going to leave this one back there for now. We've got a black screw here and another green thread lock. Gently pop off the loudspeaker. You can see the little little fluff balls in there, the contact points. Make contact right there with the daughter board for the charge port. Looks like we've got one, two screws holding down the charge port here. These ones have blue thread lock. Disconnect the flex cable here and this one as well. Now we can pop out the daughter board. And disconnect the flex cable on the back of it. Here we go. The loudspeaker makes contact there. Got our charging port. Vibrator makes contact right here. These two. All of these guys are making contact with the frame along with these little spring contact points to make sure we can turn that frame into an antenna for service. Got a little microphone here. It looks like if this cable gets damaged, 
at least to the charge port that connects it up to the main board. The whole display has to be replaced. Unless it's just this connector, then that's something that can be soldered on it. That's just going to be tricky. Look how many layers this one has. That's three individual flex cables that are all together here. All right, let's take out this lower battery. Let's add some isopropyl alcohol on all sides. All right, this battery is also kind of coming out on its own. Just gotta let the alcohol do its thing. Barely pushing down here on the pry tool. And it's wanting to lift out. And it looks like it's wanting to come out now. And I'll be a little bit more patient with that one. And use quite a bit of isopropyl alcohol. You can see a little bit of wrinkling in the back here. Otherwise, nope, pretty good. You can get down here under the vibrator and gently lift it out. So you have this cable epoxied in, this cable epoxied in. Nothing else left down here other than the, the meshes for the speaker, the microphone, this flex cable. It's like the speaker can come out. Just gently pry up here and let a, and just wait for the adhesive to let go. It's like the adhesive peeled away there, but that doesn't take much effort to put back. There we go. That's unique. The sound not only can travel out kind of through the through the front here, but it also comes outside the back. All right, let's try taking out the button here. And it does come out. A little tricky because you don't want to tear the cable here. That's unique. So it looks like to avoid tearing the flex cable, if you peel off these stickers first, it'll loosen the, the grip that this has. And then that'll actually be able to, to move freely through this so you can pull off this seal that's making this button kind of sealed against the frame there and make it work again. One big thing to note is these magnets here that are that are surrounding here, they're important for the screen to be able to not only engage and hold itself like this, but also it's what senses whether or not to activate the back panel or let the front go. And I've seen some of the newer screens come with almost a weaker magnet. So transferring over the original magnet uh, will be your solution if you run into a phone that just has a blackout screen and won't, uh, won't transfer between the screens when working on it. And there we have it, all torn down as far as we can go. A relatively straightforward phone to take apart. One of the easier ones, I would say. And there we go. There's a full tear down, the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I hope that this helps if you need to do a repair on this phone. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.